This is ADV Trust, and we're going to do the December Nomadic unboxing. I've had this box for two weeks and I haven't opened it. Um, it's like a, a late Christmas present. I think it's like January 4th now, last day of vacation for us. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and see what, see what we got. And I also have a sticker uh, from um, the last video to see if the stickers that they give us um, are the same or different. So let's find that out. So this is the December um, Nomadic uh, box. Let's see if I can get it open. Nomadic venture into the unknown. God, how I wish that was true. Ah, uh, same um, thing, we get the cool, and I, you know, I think this is a really nice touch um, that Nomadic does with the um, graphics that they put inside their boxes. I know I had, uh, Lunatic Cosmetics also does a really cool packaging, um, and I'm, it's really nice to see, uh, and then my cat's gonna come, uh, you might see her in the video, uh, help us with the, with the unboxing. So first things first, um, this was the November um, sticker, and this is the December, and it's cool, they're different. Um, this one has snow, let me see if I can, okay, so what did we get? We got some Hazy Hiker uh, coffee. Uh, freeze, uh, not freeze dried, coffee grounds. So, and we got a fire starting kit, which is kind of helpful. And it comes in this little um, hard plastic case. And inside is some matches and some fire starter, which, you know, honestly, I think is also important to have. Um, uh, oh, and there's a little striker right here. Uh, when you're camping, you don't need a lot, but just in case something happens and you need to make either a signal fire or melt something, I think it's always good to have some um, fire starting uh, equipment, though more than likely just having a good lighter is probably going to um, take care of any problems you might have, but, but a nice little uh, uh, kit. Okay, what else? Um, what else did we get? Okay. We got a Parks Project beanie. I think that's what this is. Parks Project Stewards Outfitter Peel for Sticker. Oh, I see. So this is one of those um, pieces of kit that uh, when you um, purchase it, uh, so much of the uh, funds that are acquired as part of the purchasing um, go to uh, parks. So that's kind of cool. And it looks like a cotton, a cotton beanie. Um, and you know, these are really nice when, especially when you're motorcycle camping. Um, to have something to put on your head because you, your hair, you know, there's just, there's just nothing to do um, with your hair. And uh, uh, also at night, just to keep your head warm if you're out hiking around. And it seems pretty stretchy. Some of these beanies I don't like um, because it's like they want to, you know, they're uncomfortable. Comfortability is a problem. And, uh, but this one seems pretty nicely made and it does feel like cotton. So, nice. So we got the coffee, fire starter, and the um, beanie. Don't feel anything else. So the next thing we got is United Blue enameled mug trail to table. Um, for every product sold by United Blue. Oh, okay. So another. So actually, two products that um, when you purchase them, a certain amount of the uh, accrued. Uh, value goes back to some special program. So the hat was um, a certain amount of the proceeds go to 
parts and the mug, a certain amount of the proceeds go to um, uni the United Blue Fund. And this is a little, um, I don't know if these are steel, but galvanized and enameled um, coffee mug. Um, Home on the Range is on the uh, uh, front, little frying pan, and United Blue enamel wire by United Blue. So nice. So, and I think that's it. So for for the December uh, nomadic box, we got the coffee and a mug to drink your coffee in, um, and United Blue um, supported. We got a fire starter uh, and a nice little beanie. So good job, Nomadic. Uh, keep it up. And I look forward to using this uh, equipment. And also, good job on the stickers. Um, this was the November sticker. And now this is the December sticker, which is a little bit cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to put them on my, my motorcycle. And no, I haven't been riding a lot. Um, it's been cold. I, I have put my warm weather gear on and went riding. Uh, but I'm looking forward to, to, uh, to getting out at least what happened on this side of the fence was we're in California and, uh, over the Christmas break, uh, we're lucky enough to take some vacation days and get a couple days off, uh, for Christmas. So we actually were able to extend it for two weeks and I was hoping to do at least an overnight camping trip. Um, but because of COVID, uh, like many of you. Um, all the parks, you know, I, I, I think I've mentioned that I use recreation.gov um, to schedule a uh, campsite. Uh, because of the stay at home order, uh, all the campsite reservations were canceled and will be canceled until at least February. So, um, not wanting to, because I'm a solo camper, I like to camp in um, more established campgrounds just for safety, um, uh, primarily is uh no camping so while i was able to um go for a couple day rides uh, i haven't been able to go overnight and that's kind of a bummer um i don't know why you know with covid they have to close the parks it would seem like that would be a place you know that people could go and get out and kind of de-stress from the staying at home portion of you know dealing with covid um but for some reason they decided to close the parks and maybe it's for the safety of the rangers. Um, I think that's a good reason to close it. Additionally, I think the parks need a break from so many people, uh, you know, just to kind of breathe a little bit. Uh, so I don't, I don't mind it that much. Um, probably more just me being selfish and wanting to, to get away overnight and set up my tent. Um, and it's weird because when I went for my ride, uh, a couple days ago, I went down Highway 1, I drove up to San Francisco, and then of course, you know, came down 1 into Santa Cruz, and it was crazy. Why, why some of the parks were closed, they were filled with people, you know, exercising or getting their kids out or playing on the beach and how, but, so you keep that stuff open, but you close the parks. I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, but that is the world that we are in now with COVID. So, um, just stay safe. And again, happy new year, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the, um, unboxing of the nomadic December box. We got a couple nice little things and then, uh, we'll see what the January box brings. Happy trails, everybody. And I'll see you soon. Ciao.